Senator West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Speaker, the Premier marketed herself as the Education Premier. She promised not to cut education and to rebuild relationships with education workers. That's clearly not working out so well for her. And yet, yesterday, the Minister of Education literally boasted about the fact that her government didn't need to keep its commitment to invest $250 million in education last year and claimed there were no cuts made to special education. But today we learned 50 educational assistant jobs are on the chopping block in Bruce Gray. That's very perplexing. And it appears the Liberal government doesn't see the value of keeping class sizes manageable. Well, Speaker, Ontario families don't see the value of a government that throws our schools into chaos. With nearly 900,000 students impacted by this government's bad decisions, will the Premier finally reverse her cuts to education and keep her promise Thank to you. Ontario families? Minister of Education. Minister of Education. Yes, thank you very much. So once again, 22.5 billion last year equals 22.5 billion this year. But let me expand because what's really interesting, Speaker, is. Please finish. You know, one of the things that I feel re find really interesting is the platform they ran on. Oh. The platform they ran on in 2014 said that they'd spend the same amount of, you know, sort of started with our $22.5 billion as a base, and then said they'd find $600 million in savings in health and education. I'm guessing that probably their goal was to find about $250 million in savings during the last fiscal year. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Page 230 of your budget, you boast about spending $248 million less in a year. Again to the Premier. Yesterday, the Minister of Education claimed that our public elementary teachers were at the bargaining table just as they were getting up to leave. The minister also recently said that class size caps were possibly on the central table. It's perplexing, Speaker, that the minister doesn't know what's going on. While the minister fumbles her file and your government continues to cut education, Ontario families are paying the price. With 900,000 students paying the price across Ontario, liberal cuts and broken promises are throwing our schools into chaos. Will the Premier finally admit that it's time to reverse her short-sighted cuts to education and keep class sizes manageable? Minister. Well, in the first place, Ontario has among the lowest class sizes of both elementary and secondary anywhere in Canada. But let's go back to this. Let's go back to this 250 million speaker. That came because enrollment fell. That was one cause. And this year, the per pupil funding has gone up because we reinvested those savings. So per pupil funding has gone up. The other things was I saved some money in the administration of my ministry. We also found that school boards had greater savings in reserves than we'd actually respected, expected, and that got consolidated onto our uh, onto our budget. And there were some of the boards that we'd promised capital funding for child care or for uh, new schools. They didn't spend it last year. They'll spend it some other year, but they didn't spend it last year. I think that those are all perfectly good reasons for Thank you.